Welcome to Healthy Ever After and I am nutritionist and chef Fiona McEnroy and in this special Christmas edition we are going to be making a baked chocolate Christmas tree. And here are the ingredients. You are also going to need a large baking tray, a table knife and a star shaped cookie cutter. So before I start making the chocolate sauce I've just rolled out one of my puff pastries just to see if it fits onto my baking tray. Okay, let's get started with our chocolate spread. Start by adding 150 grams of your favorite nut butter to a bowl. I'm using peanut butter, but hazelnut butter works really well as well. Then add your 100 grams of honey or maple syrup and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to sieve my cacao powder in on top of the mixture and I'm going to mix it really well. You might need to add a spoonful or two of water to your mixture if it's a little too stiff. Now add the chocolate spread to the puff pastry that you've rolled out on your baking tray. Make sure that you use parchment paper or the paper that came with the puff pastry on the baking tray. After you have spread all of the chocolate out, get your other roll of puff pastry and carefully place it over the chocolate. Next we are going to mark out the shape of the Christmas tree. I start by marking out the shape of the trunk and the bottom of the tree, being careful not to cut through directly just yet. Again with my table knife in hand I'm going to mark out the rest of the shape of the tree. Next we are going to mark out where the branches are. These are going to be where we make the twists, so don't place them too close together. And don't bring the markings all the way into the center of the tree. Use the trunk of the tree as a guide. Also, make the markings directly opposite each other on both sides of the tree. The markings will get quite small as you reach the apex of the tree. As we reach the top section of the tree, we are actually going to cut that section completely off and we're going to place our star there. So I'm using my star cutters to cut out a little star that I'm going to place on top. And don't discard these trimmings. I'm going to show you what to do with them a little later on in this video. Now that we've added our star on top, you can go ahead and start cutting out the basic shape of the tree. Using your table knife and following the markings you made a little earlier, you can now begin to cut through all the branches. Starting with the bottom branch, lift it up carefully and twist it around two times and place it back down again. Repeat this movement with the rest of the branches, keeping in mind that as the branches get shorter, you will have less twists in your branch. Next, take your egg wash and lightly brush all over your Christmas tree. Then sprinkle your Christmas tree with crushed pistachios, almonds or hazelnuts. Then finally, bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 15 minutes. Here are the trimmings that we talked about earlier. I'm just going to cut out a few chocolate stars. 
I'm going to take any bits that are kind of odd shaped and just twist them around. Here I am taking these bigger shapes and cutting them into strips and just giving them a little bit of a twist. And with these two larger sections, I'm going to roll them up into a chocolate croissant. Start at the big end and roll to the point and that's it. Then again, lightly brush them with a little bit of egg wash and sprinkle them with some crushed nuts. Those can now go in the oven for the same time and temperature. Then when your tree is ready to come out of the oven and it's nicely golden brown, you can dust it with a little bit of icing sugar just to finish it off. And that's it from the Healthy Ever After kitchen. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video. See you next time.